Hello everybody, welcome back to another SUP Border video. In this review, we're gonna be looking at the Astron wing range for 2023. A few weeks ago, we looked at the Astron boards. Now it's the time of the wings. In this video, I'm gonna to speak to you about really the differences between the new saw and the new aim. You're probably aware of Astron. They're a pretty big player in the water sports industry. It started off in the paddleboard market. They've got composite paddleboards, they've got inflatable paddleboards, they've got foils and a large amount of water sports accessories. Hold up, have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? Give it a subscription, then you don't miss any of our future videos. There's loads of content going on there weekly. Astron are definitely trying to make a good product at an affordable price point, and there's no doubt gonna be a lot of you looking at this video to find out if these wings are the sort of wings you should be getting into the sport with because they are almost half the price compared to a lot of the other big wing brands on the market. Sitting around the mid 600 euros, 500, 600 pounds, they are a very affordable price point compared to a lot of those wings. But what is the difference between these two new wings? So we have the saw and we have the aim. We've been using these wings for a month and a half now, and we have been really doing most of our testing around the four meter size, using it in lighter winds and obviously when it gets windy. The four meter is a really good all round size for a lot of people who are getting into the sport. It's gonna get you going if you're a little bit lighter in 15 knots, and it's gonna be able to hold itself up to about 25, 30 knots if you're a little bit heavier. Now, the only massive difference between these two wings is really, how they are put together and a few of the materials that are on the wings. The cut, the panel layout, the outline shape, the window placement, the handles, the, the main rib, they're all exactly the same and they feel very, very similar in the air. The big difference though is something you can see when you've got both of them together is the stitch work and the reinforcing. If we look at the main area where any wing potentially fails or it breaks, it's in what you call the main closing seam on the main tube. So this is the main tube, that is the rib, okay? The main closing seam is where they seal up this tube, and that is this seam that runs down the wing right here. The other one is just here. So you'll see there's extra stitching on the aim, and inside of that, there's probably more extra paneling or material to reinforce that closing seam. The saw has just the normal standard closing seam, now, just by looking at that, you're gonna tell that the aim is gonna be able to take a bit more punishment, not in the air, but mainly at landings, having you pull off the wing. So if you're a little bit more an advanced rider, you're using it in windier conditions, maybe you're doing it into freestyle, taking it in wavier conditions, you're wanting to push a little bit more with your wing, the stitch work is much better on that closing seam. But also you'll notice the stitch work on these main panels, on this main seam here, they're quite a tight sort of stitch on this one, and on these ones here, they're all a bigger stitch. All that sort of stuff spreads a load a bit more, makes it a lot stronger when you're using it. Which is why really the saw is just the smaller version of the aim without the reinforcement. Beginner people who are getting in the sport are probably gonna be going for these smaller wings because it's gonna be easier for you to hold onto that smaller wing, move that smaller wing around. Maybe you're not on the foil just yet. And they are pushing the saw in the three meter and the four meter towards more of the beginner based rider. When we did weigh these two wings without the leashes on, they were very, very, very close in weight, but the saw was lighter. Just shows you a little bit less stitch work and a little bit less reinforcing. Now looking at the reinforcing, if we talk about the wing tips and the bottom of the main rib, you'll see that there's a little bit on the saw around the outside edges, but the aim, there's an extra panel right around the other side of the wing tips and right around the bottom of the main rib tip. Now this reinforcing really is for when you're on the land, in the car park, on the beach, dragging it over rocks. It's not gonna do anything at all how it flies and how it feels in your hands. They have also got some more reinforcing around the main front leading edge, like they've got, and both of those are exactly the same. So that is the differences between the saw and the aim. 
saws available in smaller sizes, not so much reinforcing around the tips, and the closing seam isn't as reinforced with extra stitch work. The aim is gonna take more punishment, that's why it's suited to the generally intermediate to advanced riders, but there's no reason why a beginner can't jump on the aim straight away. Okay, so let's look at the other stuff that Astron have changed from the previous year's wing because there has been some really great improvements from the first wings we've used from Astron. Now, we first used the V1 and then they did a V2 and those wings were very different to these types of wings. On paper and with the website, they might look very similar, but when you're flying them, these wings are way more stable than that wing. They've done a lot of work, obviously, to the tension of the main canopy. That's this section here. It's a lot less baggy than the previous years and it's not got as much depth or it feels like it hasn't got as much depth. We haven't actually got a one, an old one in the studio to compare it to, but it feels like the profile is a lot better shaped than the previous year's wing. The windows are the same on both the wings. They're a little bit more refined, made out of PVC material. The windows aren't too big, so they start to change the feel of the wing, but they're also not too small, so you actually don't have any benefit of a window at all. The main panel work in the wing, you'll see they're all vertical panels. They're not done in a radial cut like the more expensive wings are. This is generally a cheaper way of making a wing in a vertical panel layout. It doesn't give you as much performance as a, a top end wing, but then bear in mind this is over half, half the price as well. Looking at the main handles, the same on both wings, they're much, much better. They're much more rigid, much more comfortable to hold, but still, allowing you to fold and pack the wing up. And if you obviously land on these, you're not gonna damage yourself because they still are nice and soft. They've actually reduced the depth of the handles, which was one of the biggest problems with the first Astron wing we saw. The front handle was a little bit too big and it was a little bit too deep. So when you were flying it, the wing felt, felt quite far away. Your front leading edge handle was the same type of handle, well-placed, neoprene sort of backing behind the handle. A lot of brands have got that, but it's still good to see that on this cheaper price point wing. If you're looking at the main tube, it's an average overall size. So what I mean by that is some of the wings on the market got really big front tubes. That can give your wing a lot of stiffness, but it can slow it down. They've gone for an average sort of size here. The main rib that's attached to the front tube, which is on a separate inflation valve, so you have to inflate this main tube and then the rib, both to six PSI. That has a little bit more of a smaller area at the front and gets a little bit bigger towards the back and nice and thinned at the back there. Again, not as big as some other brands, gives you that good compromise between speed, weight, stability with flight. The bigger you go with all these tubes, the stiffer the wing is going to feel. The nice thing about having them inflated separately is that you can get the air out quickly. You can keep the rib inflated and roll your wing up around the rib if you're not gonna be packing it down super small. We personally do actually like having separate inflations because it does give you that option and it doesn't take much longer to inflate your wing compared to ones that have got the tubes going from the main tube to the rib to inflate it in one go. Pros and cons to that, but they seem well fitted and they're all finished off with an ISUP pump attachment, which a lot of you have got inflatable paddle boards. Plug it in, away you go. As standard, these wings do not come with pumps. They just come with a standard backpack and a Dyneema elasticated leash. The actual fabric that are on both these wings are exactly the same. Astron say they're using a new light Dacron material to keep the weight down. These materials that are on these wings are absolutely fine for the Astron price point and what they're designed for. It's what we'd expect and we do see the same type of materials on other wings that are more expensive as well. So what do they feel like on the water? I've touched into this a little bit, giving you a bit more of an update on what they felt like compared to the previous wings as well. The difference between the saw and the aim, we can't tell the difference. There is no difference really with the flight time. It's all to do with that reinforcing, the hard wearingness of it. I wouldn't even say there's much of a difference when it comes to pumping and trying to get going early. Because these wings haven't got massive front tubes, they don't give you a huge amount of stiffness. So you will see that there's quite a bit of flex in those wing tips when we're pumping. And also because they only pump up to six PSI, they're not the stiffest either. But when you're flying, they do feel very fast and very comfortable and very easy to use. So much better than the previous year's Astron wings. On your tacks and jibes and transitions, you will find these wings don't fly around as quick as some of the more expensive wings. 
but because they're quite light in nature, generally you can get the hang of using these wings. And definitely when it comes to jibing, after the first four jibes, I had it nailed and they did rotate very, very smoothly. When it comes to the attacks, they do push you down a little bit more as you throw your wing over. But again, you start to adjust that feeling and then you can easily come out riding these wings every time on the foil. Who's gonna be using these wings? When are you gonna be using these wings? What conditions are you gonna be using these wings? Well, these wings are all round wings, so you can use them flat water, beginner, intermediate, obviously in advanced. You can use them in the waves. They do seem to park quite well. We didn't have any full wave sessions with them, but when we were parking them on flat water, riding around with them, again, going through the transitions, maybe doing a long jibe with a handle on the front handle, they did seem to hold and flag or park well. They have got a little bit of dihedral shape to the wing itself. The way Astron, I think, have designed this is they've picked a lot of the averages on the market from other brands and made a good all-round wing. So it's not going to be super, super good at surfing. It's not going to be super, super good at jumping high or delivering you loads of power, but it's got enough of everything to really get you into winging, and which is what probably most of you are going to be looking at these wings for. I think if you're a heavier rider, or you want more power, or you're gonna be riding in lighter winds. You, you have got the six meter, you have got the five meter look to look at. You will get more power because of that, but you still won't have that much low end grunt because of the size of the main tube, the PSI pressure. If you want that more powerful wing for, definitely if you're the heavier rider especially, probably better off looking towards another brand. So now I'm gonna to touch into some cons, observations, things you need to be aware of. One is a big old negative for us. I don't know if it's the same with all of them, but the leash that we had supplied is a really good quality, easy, fashionable wrist leash with a nice Dyneema material with a elasticated core. Now it's a really good quality leash. It's just about five inches too short. And that is it at the full extension. It's way too short to use. It's too short when you go through your transition and your backhand, it's got the leash and it's right down there. So we did have to change the actual material and use another leash. So that's definitely a negative or thing to be aware of. I don't know if that's a one-off, but that's definitely something that we have noted. Another thing is the printed graphic that's on the main part of the Lini Edge is coming away a little bit. So you can see the main material underneath the graphic, nothing to do with the structural tool just something aesthetically after a few uses that is starting to come off. Still think maybe for a lot of you beginners out there, you might still want an extra handle up here or this one to be slightly further forward to give you that compromise between the front leading edge handle and this front rib handle. It's an observation that one really, I still think, I think it's way, way better than it was and it's very, very usable. Some of you maybe when you're starting off might find having an extra handle in here just a little bit of an advantage. But leaving the negatives behind and finishing off on some pros and a summary, the new shapes of these wings is much, much better in the air, so much nicer to use. The handles are great, the quality of the handles is much nicer. It's nice to see that got extra reinforcing and better stitch work on the aim, which is definitely gonna be better for making the wing last longer. They're nice light wings and they're easy to use in the air and a lot of you are gonna be getting into the sport with these wings. But unless you're a lighter person or using it in stronger, windier conditions, I would probably push you more onto the aim than the saw. That really is the wing to go for. It's definitely four meter, go for the aim. Obviously, if you're looking for three meter, they only do that in the saw, so you're gonna be looking at that one. Really, I would split that out the two. Three meter saw, the rest of it always look towards the aim. So I hope that stop order review has helped you understand what the new Astron wings are like and which one, if any of these, you should be looking towards. If you've got one of these wings, if you've got any of the Astron foils in the past, any of the foil boards in the past, any of the foil, any of the wings in the past, let us know your feedback. I know a lot of you got onto the water and got into foiling with the Astron packages, which is a good option to look at, great price points. If you haven't been on our main website, please check out subwatermag.com. There's loads of content on there. And also check out Subwater Pro, which is the next level of subwater content. So until next time, we'll see you on another video. Happy winging, happy supping. See you soon. We first reviewed the first Astron wing back in 19... 19? Back in 1975.